Hello, Steve Rennick here. Today I want to talk to you about something that happened today. This got out of court about, and I thought the best thing to do is to talk to my construction worker friends out there about what to do or what the employer is actually supposed to do once you report an accident on the job to your employer. And it, this all came up during a trial period. And I've explained to this to my client, and I want to explain to you what exactly you need to do in the future if you have an accident and you report to the employer, what should you expect next? Well, if you haven't done so already, you should make sure you've requested medical treatment. First and foremost, very important to do. You may think that it's not a serious injury or you're not sure if it's a serious injury or you want to tough it out. And believe me, most of my construction workers want to tough it out. But it's not always the best thing for you in the big picture to tough it out because you let it go too long, you may lose your rights to get medical care. Once you report it and you say you want medical treatment, the employer should send you to a doctor. You don't go to your own doctor. Now, a lot of the employers may tell you, go to your own doctor and let them know you were, you were hurt. Don't do that. They're supposed to provide you a doctor. You should have to pay for any doctors in Florida on any work-related accident. So make sure you go to a doctor and the doctor is authorized by the insurance company or your employer. And this goes for prescriptions as well. I have a lot of times where I'll have a client saying, well, the insurance company is not paying for the prescription uh, they, and I have to pay for it. No, you don't. You have the insurance company is supposed to pay for your prescriptions. All medical should be paid by an insurance company. In fact, it's illegal in the state of Florida for a doctor to charge you medical or medical bill unless you've reached maximum medical improvement. And that usually doesn't happen right at the beginning of the case. So initial medical care is almost always paid for. I would say 99.9% .9 has to be paid for right out of the pocket of the employer or the insurance company. Document your request to the employer that you've asked them for medical treatment. Now, this with the number type of, of things we have to communicate with now, it could be by a text, an email, um, um, some type of other message that you can document it with. A note, you want a handwriting note, write a note, something you can keep a copy of. Take a picture of whatever you're giving to the employer to document you ask for medical care. Because what you don't want to have is saying, never ask me for medical care, even though you have asked for medical care. This has to be, the important thing is, and this is what came up today, you have to request medical treatment within 30 days. You have to report an injury within 30 days. I don't want, it's not re, really getting medical care. You have to report that you were injured within 30 days. That's what the, the statute says. You have to report an injury within 30 days. If you have an accident and you don't go and get the initial care and saying you're injured, you may lose your rights to get medical treatment later on. So don't make, make, make sure you don't lose that right. If all else fails and your 30 days is coming up and the insurance company is not providing treatment and the employer is not providing treatment, you gotta seek legal advice. Make sure you go see an attorney. Most of the time, workers' comp cases, you don't have to see an attorney. I don't, I don't need to see every client that is injured on a job. But there's certain times you need to get some help. Ask them to help you. Ask them for advice. Get that advice. Most of them will give you free consultation. Of course, I, I hope you all are on my my Facebook group, Florida Construction, Work, Construction Workers Information Facebook group. You'll get all the, your answers questioned there. You can ask questions. You can see people's other questions. It's going to be a, it's a great group. So I hope to see you there. If you ever, ever have any questions, you can always contact me at srenick at protectingtheworker.com. Hope to see you soon.